Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Days feel longer at sea. You just have this opportunity to really connect with nature to constantly shift your sails to the changes in the environment around you, to then find that we are impacting our planet in the way that we now know is really heartbreaking. I'm Emily Penn, co-founder of X Expedition, a series of all women sailing voyages. Uh, we're currently sailing around the world looking at plastic and toxic pollution. Around 8 million tonnes of plastic waste enter the oceans every year. A common misconception is that it floats on the surface in plastic islands. But in fact, plastics break down into smaller pieces called microplastics, and the vast majority is invisible to the naked eye. Emily has been working for years to highlight the abundance of plastics in the oceans. And the expedition she leads travel to waters around the world to study how plastic is distributed and how it accumulates. This very important bit of equipment right here is our manta trawl. This is the piece of equipment that we actually put over the side of the boat using this spinnaker pole uh, to deploy it to collect our scientific samples. The reality is the plastic breaks down quite quickly from the UV rays from the sun, the wind and the waves break it up into these tiny fragments, microplastics. They are smaller than your little fingernail and we now know that there's over five trillion of them floating on the surface of our ocean and probably many times that that have sunk to the depths. There's already a lot in that layer. Look at that. Mm. A lot of plastic. Wow. At least some level of plastic can be found in every ocean on the planet, but it accumulates in the ocean's gyres, large systems of circulating currents. Dangerous man-made chemicals can also accumulate there, and these persistent organic pollutants bind to the plastic in the water. They enter the food chain, after being mistaken for food by marine life, rising up until both the chemicals and the plastics reach their peak, the human body. We chose 35 of these toxic chemicals that are banned. We found 29 of them in my body. They mimic our hormones and stop important chemical messages moving around our bodies. And realized that actually being a woman, having those chemicals inside my body during pregnancy would be really bad news. And so I thought, wow, this issue is actually quite a female-centered issue. So why not tackle it with an amazing team of women? And so X Expedition was born. X Expedition's most recent voyage is nearly halfway through circumnavigating the Earth, exploring plastics and toxin levels in the ocean. By its end, it would have traveled to four of the ocean's largest gyres. So much of our own impact on this plastics issue and the ocean, it really starts with our daily choices, particularly our single use plastic consumption. We are finding bottle tops, we're finding plastic bags, we're finding all those things that have been used once and then thrown away. If we can do without it, then let's not use it. Tell us what you're doing to preserve the health of the planet for future generations. Send us your messages on social media using the hashtag call to earth. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.